Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. Another episode of the Standard Commentary series. Hmm, turn two, Beast Caller, Savant, and he attacked with it. Interesting. Morph? And horribly awry. I have to say, uh, not very um, flexible. Uh, I was trying to think of another word, but that'll work. But, uh, you know, for when you don't want your opponent to have a creature, you know, as long as it's not a really big creature, this does away with it really well. Two mana, four mana cost or less, and it's exiled. Map the wastes. So he gets a land, and he gets to make the Savant a 2 2. Anticipate. Hmm. The art's kind of cool on that. I mean, that guy looks kind of cool, but uh, I like the other one because. Uh, you know, it shows the person, you know, anticipating what's going to happen, so they think of, like, the three different moves that they might have to make. Which would have been kind of cool with this guy. And complete disregard. Dead, Savant. And he's exiled. So, we're seeing some new cards from the blue and black deck. Morph. And Den Protector to get Map the Wastes. Hmm. The guy's deck is uh, interesting. Sanctum of Ugin. Whenever you cast a color spell with converted mana cost 7 or greater, you may sacrifice the Sanctum. If you do, search your library for a colorless creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Hmm. Hedron Archive. 2 mana or pay 2, sack it, and draw 2. It's a really nice card. And I have to say, I'm surprised that this isn't legendary. Map the Wastes. So he's up to a 4-3. And Teamer Ascendancy. I mean, there, and I wanted to go back to the Sanctum, and the reason why I said it should be legendary. I don't really see, I mean, I do see certain scenarios where this thing could be abused. Like, um, the, I saw a mono green uh, Eldrazi ramp deck where this card would be I wouldn't say broken, but it would be ridiculously good. So he played Dig Through Time. Mm -hmm. But flavor-wise, I mean, it's Sanctum of Ugin. This is Ugin's Sanctum. Ugin, the Spirit Dragon, the Planeswalker. Who, you know, if he had a creature card, he would be a legend. Mm -hmm. And this appears to be his house. Mm -hmm. So from a flavor standpoint, I would have thought that this would have been a legend. Or a legendary, excuse me. Titan's Presence, exile target creature. If its power is less than or equal to the revealed card's power, 
He revealed Blight Herder. Hmm. Ooh, Undergrowth Champion. Fathom Feeder. Draw a card, each opponent exiles the top card of their library. Read the bones. That 1-1 one, one Death Touch. You know, I saw him and I was like, yeah. Two mana, 1-1, one, one, Devoid Death Touch, Ingest. You know, that's good enough. But later on, being able to draw a card, not too shabby. Oblivion Sower. So this is a blue-black Control Eldrazi deck. And Undergrowth Champion, who would be doing a fine job right now, most likely. Not really, he has zero cards in hand. But uh, this guy held him up quite well. Now he has a 5-8 that he's never going to get through. A second Hedron Archive. So he's pretty much set up for his mana. A third Hedron Archive. Good lords, what is going on here? Sack it to draw? No, Blight Herder. What is it? Seven or greater. So he's a five, so he's a little bit too small. But it doesn't really matter because it looks like the Eldrazi deck has already won this game. He just needs to get the tools to do it. So I'll pop two of these, sack, draw two cards. He'll have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana. Fourteen with the other one. Unfortunately, he drew a land with one of those three cards. And did my voice just go froggy? If it did, I'm sorry. Uh, my throat got a little dry there. So, two cards, a ton of mana, another Blight Herder, which he can activate its ability get more sp sp God. it is so hard having played with spawn to get my head to connect Eldrazi to Scion instead of spawn another undergrowth champion I have to say undergrowth champion is uh, he's a fine card He's a very fine card, it's just in this situation he is not good enough. He is nowhere near good enough. Sack it to draw two more cards. Which, you know, by all means, you know, you, you have the run of this game right now. You just need to get the finisher. I mean, he could be swinging in with all of these guys and doing a lot of damage. But, I mean, he's set up the machine. He might as well use it. Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. Yeah. Spells. Not artifact abilities. And he's sacking that last one to draw two more cards. 
So what are you going for? Ugin? Um, wow, my brain is not working. The Eldrazi Titan guy. Ulamog. Yeah, he is going for Ulamog. When you cast him, exile two target permanents. He's indestructible, and whenever he attacks, defending player exiles the top 20 cards of his or her library. And sacrifice Sanctum to go and get another guy. Not that you need it. And naturally the guy concedes. He he understands. He was totally screwed. And he concedes the match because, you know, once you've seen this happen, you don't really want to see it happen again. So, uh, there you go, folks. That was, uh, I want to call it Teamer Aggro, though it wasn't nearly as aggressive as it needs to be. And that was Blue Black Control Eldrazi. And if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.